I'm Dominique Sidapun with Miro Matrix Medical. We are a early stage regenerative medicine company. So tissue engineering has been around for a long time and people have been trying to create you know, this ultimate goal, this panacea of a whole functional organ. But it struggled, the field has struggled with the ability to make sure that once you get cells into whatever scaffold or matrix you're using, that then there's a problem with getting all the media, the nutrients, all the things that these things that the cells need to stay alive. And so the beauty of perfusion decellarization is we start with all that architecture intact and more importantly that all the blood vessels, all the vasculature system is still intact. So when we introduce cells back into that organ, they will already have a natural supply and be able to be fed with you know, oxygen and nutrients, and we don't have to worry about trying to establish that vasculature system. So we've definitely made that, that portion of the development process a lot easier by starting with this decellarized whole organ scaffold. We can make acellular products, so products with no cells or anything in them, to make medical devices now. If we can take a patient's own stem cells, put those back inside the organ, now we've got a fully combat, uh, biocompatible organ for that patient so they won't need to take anti-rejection drugs for the rest of their life. Depending on the type of organ, you could do this both with primary cells or stem cells. This is a six-month-old porcine heart, completely decellarized, which takes about 48 hours. Um, you can see that the beauty of the per perfusion decellarization process is that the whole native architecture is still intact. It's still got the shape of a heart. All the structure is still there. All four chambers of the heart are still present. And on this side, you can see we've got the aorta, which is this um, the main central vessel there. And you can still see there's uh, the valve is still intact for the aortic valve, as well as the pulmonary valve um, up into the left from that. And over here on the right, we have the um, decellarized porcine liver. It's kind of got a creamy white color to it. And when we first start out, it's got a bright red blood color to it. And as the, the liver continues to decellarize, which takes about 24 hours, the organ goes from that bright red color and slowly changes into this creamy white. And it's sometimes you may have heard the terminology that you've created a ghost organ. And that's because of this white color that results of, from the perfusion decellarization process.